Okay, for starters, I'm going to use this uh, Scotch Extreme tape. And I cut two strips, just the width of the tape. I don't know, that's probably an inch and a half wide tape. That's one inch. So I'm going to cut these in half and make four. I'm just eyeballing this. I'm going to make four half inch pieces just like that and I just tried to cut them just about the width of this center piece they're just a little bit wider and then I'm gonna put them right on those beams there just like that you can see what I'm doing here Actually, an easier way to do this is to take your X-Acto knife and just put that on the end of your knife. There's four holes here and a center hole. And this, these four holes, my flight board fits just inside them. So I'm trying to just get as much tape underneath the board as possible so it doesn't touch the carbon fiber. Matter of fact, I'm going to take this one, this one that's split in half, and move those out just a little bit. Like that. And then take this one inch piece put it all the way across the center just centering it on that beam right there like that and then I'll move these up against it and same thing with this one That way I don't have a lot of extra tape that's not doing anything. Just adding weight. I don't think it's all that heavy, but and then my board will go right on top of that. How's that gonna be? I guess it's gonna be something like this. So I'm gonna eyeball that and get it centered over the top. One thing I like to do with this particular tape is uh, after I peel off this uh, red red sheeting, I'm going to take my heat gun, and I'm not going to get this blazing hot, but I'm going to warm up that tape and then set the flight controller down on top of it and uh, and press it down and and it'll really set that tape off and make it real sticky and that that's going to be pretty darn nice so let me get that done and we'll come back okay there we go so i just trimmed off the excess that was just hanging outside the board just so it looks better i guess i tried to do my best to get it centered on there and then this is what it looks like under underneath So that's good tape and uh, the longer it sits I think the the stronger it gets. Notice uh, underneath these solder pads they're not touching anything and since they're so small I'm not going to be putting a huge amount of heat on this thing I figured I'd just solder it up as it's mounted on the frame and it sits pretty pretty flat like that I think that'll be good and uh, give it just a little bit of vibration cushion and we'll see how that works so the next thing I'm gonna put my motors in here cut the wires to length and get them soldered onto the board and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like once I finish that alright here's where I'm at with this micro 120 millimeter build 
Got the board mounted in there as I had before. Got my battery lead and I'm going to put a connector on the uh, FPV camera at least for the moment instead of direct so I can unplug it and plug it back in for bench testing and so forth. And I have my receiver um, cord soldered in. This is into uh, UART 2 for SBUS and then going over here to UART 3 for telemetry. Got the motors mounted in and a just a glob of hot glue in the corner there to hold it. Hot glue on the wires to hold them to the bottom of the arms. And I also put some hot glue over these wires on the motors after I bent the motors or after I bent the uh, wires back. So hopefully protect those a little bit. But all the motors are straight and they feel pretty solid. And even if I turn it over on a flat surface, they're all even. I don't know how much difference that's going to make, but just so everything's symmetrical. I've got the receiver bound to the transmitter. Beta flight is all set up. And I'm not going to go through how I set it up. You can, uh, there's a lot of really good videos on YouTube currently for that. So I'm not going to make another video of that same thing if you want to check that out. Next thing is I'm going to foam get some double sided foam tape to connect my receiver right here. And then I'm going to see what I can do and where I'm going to mount the camera. What I'm going to do with these antennas for the receiver. I'd like to put them up top. Maybe I'll run them up through the camera antenna just to keep them out of the props. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to start looking at that and see what I what I need to do there and then uh, once I figure that out and get that done, I'll come back and show you basically the pretty much the finished product and how I have it set up. All right, we'll see you when I get back with that. So here it is, pretty well finished. I just used some of this Extreme 3 uh, Scotch tape, Scotch 3M Extreme. Doubled it up and put it underneath the camera. Heated it with my heat gun and then stuck it on there. Ran my antennas up through the uh, clover leaf. When I connected the camera, I just uh, wrapped the wires around and stuck that to some of the 3M tape that was stuck on the on the bottom of the camera just to keep it out of the props. Got my props on there. They all went on just right, just like they should. And then I put some Duralock on the bottom for my battery. So as it sits, I still want to put a buzzer on this thing, but as it sits, it's 59 grams, which is pretty good. So having never flown a micro before, we'll get a little bit of practice and then uh, try to get you guys some, some footage, both FPV and maybe line of sight as I fly it. It's kind of breezy and windy outside right now, so I probably won't, probably won't fly it outside. But <clears throat> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for some videos from this machine.